Lots of people use public transportation. It's a lot cheaper than owning an automobile, which also means that anyone or anything strange or bizarre can happen on a bus. And usually, public transportation is fairly safe and there isn't much you need to worry about, but sometimes, something happens that involves other passengers or some dangerous and terrible thing happens. You never know what you're gonna see when riding the bus, and you never know when the camera is rolling and what it's gonna pick up. With that said, Check out these five scariest videos caught inside a bus. Before we begin, make sure you hit that subscribe button to get notified every day for more amazing content. With that being said, let's begin. Number five, firework in a bus. Fireworks aren't always safe, and if you're too close to them, you can cause you and some innocent bystanders some harm. There's a time and place for fireworks. The inside of a bus, turns out, isn't one of them. On October 27th on a dark London street, a bus was just doing its thing, picking up and dropping off passengers. It's unknown why someone was filming from the inside of the bus, but the footage shows the bus stopped on the road. Three young guys are seen standing on the sidewalk towards the front of the bus. One of these guys has a lit Roman candle, which by the way is a firework usually loaded with 5 to 10 fireballs that shoot out from the lit end. For some unknown reason, the youth decides to shoot at the bus. It turns out that his shots were aimed at the bus driver and one of the projectiles hit the driver's compartment and then started bouncing off the seats and the yellow poles and narrowly missed the passengers who were obviously terrified. The passengers can be heard screaming, obviously not knowing what's going on, and the men then try to run away. At this time, a few of the passengers jump off the bus and try to catch these guys, but end up returning just a few moments later empty-handed. Of course, the captured footage was posted online and was captioned, Last weekend, we were randomly attacked by a group of six guys shooting at us with fireworks. Despite the fact that being hit with a fireball from a Roman candle can be hazardous, no one was hurt. And apparently, the witnesses ended up seeing more than just the three guys that can be seen in the video. The bus was traveling from Angel Islington to Camden, North London. Of course, the police were called, but they had no idea that someone had filmed the video and that the incident even happened. There's a holiday in the UK called Guy Fawkes Night that's the only time of the year when fireworks can be set off in public places. It's not known if this was an actual attack or if it was just some guys looking to pull some prank. Despite the circumstances, it's quite a dangerous prank when fireballs are flying around the inside of a bus. Number 4. Creepy Clown Riding on the Bus There are two kinds of people in this world. Those who think that clowns are fun and cheery actors whose main goal is to make people happy and make children laugh at birthday parties. And then there are the people who are terrified of clowns, regardless of how fun they might look. If you're one of those people who really hates clowns and is deeply afraid of them, then this story will likely give you the creeps. It would seem that terrifying clowns are everywhere, and it could be that they rely on public transportation and that they aren't into paying, but riding traditional clown style. It's October 12th, 2016, somewhere in Detroit. A couple of guys are just heading down the road in their car when they see something completely out of the ordinary. As the car approaches a bus, the guys notice something hanging onto the back of the bus. It turns out that it's someone dressed as a clown who's also wearing a pink wig and the most bizarre thing, a hospital gown. The 9 second video clip ended up on Facebook and was posted by a guy named Detuan Hall, getting more than 650,000 views as people tried to understand what in the world would a clown be doing hitching a ride on the back of a bus, but even more odd, why was the clown wearing a hospital gown? Could this have been someone that escaped from some kind of mental facility? It's not clear where the footage was filmed, but the bus was from the Detroit Department of Transportation. In the footage, it's not immediately clear who or what is hanging onto the back of the bus until the car gets closer and you can see it's someone wearing a white hospital gown. But when the rider turns his head to look at the passengers in the car, they're freaked out when it's revealed that he's wearing a scary clown mask and a bright hot pink wig. The passenger, who's obviously terrified, yells, It's an effing clown! Get the F out of here! The Detroit Department of Transportation told CBS Detroit that they have surveillance cameras inside of the bus and also on the outside of the vehicle, and have passed the video footage along to the police so that they can investigate. That investigation is still ongoing. Number 3. Demon Possessed Woman there are some stories of people who have been possessed by some evil spirit or perhaps some demon that had other plans for them. 
Some of these possessions have been debunked, of course, and some possessions remain unsolved and might be very real. Take the case of a passenger who was traveling on a bus in San Luis, Argentina. Passengers testified to some really strange and horrifying things and say that the woman vomited on the bus and that she looked like she was possessed by some evil spirit. The woman was apparently rolling her head around in circles and was thrashing around, much like someone that was possessed by some evil spirit making the body do uncontrollable things. The woman was never identified, but she was captured on video by a mobile phone while traveling on the bus in central Argentina. The footage shows some really bizarre stuff, and she can be seen rolling her head around with her eyes closed and yelling things that seem like they're in a different language. The other strange thing is that her voice doesn't sound like a woman's voice. Instead, it sounds like a deep man's voice, and almost as if she's being strangled. Of course, the passengers are becoming terrified by this whole ordeal, and some of them started to yell at the bus driver as the frightened passengers were pleading to get off of the infernal machine. At one point before this, a male passenger did check to see if she was okay. However, her eyes were closed and she didn't see him nor pay any attention that he was there. The police were called, and the woman remained alone on the bus until the police officers arrived. Of course, the footage of the incident that was taken by passengers was posted online, and social media users tried to figure out what was happening and remarked on the woman's reactions. Some of those people compared her behavior to the 1970 film The Exorcist and the character Regan as she was possessed by the devil. It's not known what happened to the woman or what her current state is. Perhaps she was possessed, but it's unlikely that we will ever see or hear from her again. Number 2. Ghost on the Bus This is an unusual story about a man and his experience with a ghost on a bus. The story begins on March 15, 2009, when a man named Mr. Chen got on the bus on a Sunday night. Mr. Chen works in advertising, but he also has a very unique ability in that he claims to be able to see ghosts, or spirits if you prefer the term, since he was just 6 years old. Mr. Chen said that when he got on the bus, he noticed a small boy who was playing a fool, as he put it. Chen said that the boy looked like he was about 9 years old, and he was playing around and seemed to be talking to himself. The interesting thing is that no one else on the bus seemed to notice the small boy. In fact, the boy went to the front of the bus to talk to the bus driver, but the bus driver acted like he didn't hear or see the boy at all. The boy asked the bus driver if there was an accident but the bus driver paid no attention to the child. The boy eventually went to the back of the bus where he sat down and started to count the number of people on the bus out loud, and at one point stopped counting and then exclaimed, Wow, so many people! No one on the bus seemed to notice or take any interest in the boy except for Mr. Chen. It was at this point the boy took interest in the only person that seemed to be able to see him. Mr. Chen said that the boy was wearing a gray jacket and yellow shorts. The boy seemed frightened that Chen was able to see him and realized that he was looking at him. However, later on during the ride, the boy wanted to play with Mr. Chen and came up to him and pressed against him with his jacket. Chen simply ignored him as just another rowdy child being unsupervised on the bus. He was on the bus for seven minutes and the whole time the child was playing and creating some general chaos that children sometimes do. It would seem quite odd that no one else saw the boy and the boy didn't seem to have parents. But Mr. Chen did see two male passengers who were looking in the boy's direction, but they seemed unaffected and didn't respond to the child. It turns out that no one saw this child and the child was not there. Was Chen seeing a ghost of a child that was involved in a terrible accident? No one else saw the child that he had seen and even the driver of the bus said he saw no children on the bus that night. Mr. Chen claims that he developed the ability to see spirits around him when he became ill with a very high fever as a child. But the story gets even creepier. Mr. Chen ended up taking a photo of the ghost with his camera phone. The mystery is still unexplained. Number 1. Bus Attack Many people who are into mixed martial arts and who know Conor McGregor probably already know this story. But in case you missed it, the Ultimate Fighting Championship star went on a violent rampage. Which, by the way, his attorney claims wasn't violent at all, but instead destruction of property. What did happen is that another UFC fighter named Khabib Nurmagomedov, pretty sure I nailed it, was involved in some kind of dispute with a fellow fighter by the name of Artem Lobov, whom McGregor is apparently a close friend of. 
McGregor didn't like what he heard had happened and decided to attack the bus that Nurmagomedov was riding in an attempt to stick up for his friend. Footage shows McGregor running towards the bus with a loading dolly and throwing it through the window. The footage is downright terrifying, and it's likely that had the window post not been there to stop the impact of the dolly, it could have seriously hurt or killed someone inside of the bus. What McGregor failed to realize is that there were other fighters inside of the van who had nothing to do with the altercation, and two fighters were injured because of the outburst. Fighter Michael Chisa was inside of the bus with blood running down his forehead from the shattered glass, and fellow fighter Ray Borg was also injured in the attack. It's not known what will happen to the fighter at this point, but you have to admit, if you were inside the bus during this moment seeing a metal loading dolly flying towards you, that would be pretty scary stuff. Hope you enjoyed the video, Top Fivers. If you haven't already, check out our other channel, Americano, to enjoy even more amazing list videos. There will be a link in the description, so check it out, as well as our other cool